All right, we're back. All right, let's keep going, Dan. I think I was about to go see Micah now. Seed ain't out here getting mauled by wolves. We lost two men already. Ugh, you good for nothing, cowards? Yeah, yeah. Call yourselves lumbermen, you afraid of us few damn critters? It's a forest. What the hell do you expect? Hey, partner. Oh, yes, yes. Maybe you're the man I need. Can you believe these lazy lily livers? Refusing to work on account of a few little wolves. They've been attacking workers on the south side of the camp. We need a real man to get rid of them. What do you say? He'll be very well rewarded. All right. If you're paying, I should be able to take care of that for you. Come on now, boy. Oh, Lord. Hey there. Hey, back there. Ah, uh, come on now. I should have uh, took something to revive, but wasn't quick enough on that one. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, indeed.
I assumed from all the gunshots and howling, you got some good news for me? Yep, it's done. Whew. That's a relief, I'll tell you. Excellent work. Money's right there on the table. Don't mention it. Me and wolves go way back. <laughs> I'm leaving. Don't work too hard. There ain't much danger of that with this bunch, my friend. Lumber for sale again. All right, you lazy bastards, get back to work now. The wolves are gone, so no more excuses. Get back to work. Hey, I'm Micah. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. 
So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. You'll be fine. Oh, boy. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Masters got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Yes, we're robbing it. Then let's do it. Let's get to the best point here. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> Ride! Yeah. This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! Not again, you sons of bitches! Gun of that! You don't mess with the wrong ah. stuff here! covered now it's just you and me sweetheart I'll give it to them they put up half a fight at least yeah they luck come on boy mm. be here buy a new rifle too here you go Arthur from me to you that's more your style than mine What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. <laughs> Something like that. 
You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You be wearing cap shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn! You okay? No, thanks, no. Just keep your head up. That's it. Fastest gun in the West. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach, then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of... Well, this little mess. Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. Oh. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. <laughs> What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its peace. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Woo! Ah, oh, shit.
this your this one. This ah! Fuck! God damn it. So I'm glad I ain't got my money in Valentine. Happy to Some assist you in a moment. Cleared that bank out every damn cent. Nothing like a fresh start. Well, welcome back, mister. May I help you? Certainly not the first time. Let's see if anything catches your fancy. Can't wait. Traveling mercies to you. Let's go, boy. Listening to your bullcrap all day, every day. That's it. 
I'm gonna knock you upside your head. Get back to work before I bust a pair of you. That's for all them not I can't believe that worked. Yeah. Everyone guess what's coming, don't they? Yeah. I can bring this for money. Far. I guess I can bring it. Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm so sorry, Buttercup. God damn it. You kidding me? Idiot. 
Looks like that's that. You're back. It's worth buying. I'll buy it. Hmm. Now, where did you get this, I wonder? Sure. Real good doing business with you. See you around. For Christ's sake. Can take you wherever so partner, you can need I to get go. A ride? Where do you want to go? Roads, please. We'll be there before you know it. Fantastic. Agreed. Thanks, mister. You help me out. How do you do? Stay here, boy. Stay calm, man. You okay, boy? Here you are, boy. Yep. Lemoyne air is free for you? Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. <sighs> you threatening me, you piss ant? Stupid bastard's got a problem with authority! Yes. 
I was told. <laughs> Nobody pulls a fast one on me like that. What? Here. It's me. Hope you had a good old time while I did stuff in panic here. Yeah, now make yourself useful. The first part of useful is not driving me insane with your constant complaining. I ain't complaining. You are. Complain, complain, complain. I ain't complaining. I'm just saying. You're not saying, miss. You're shouting. Captain, did they do things differently in the Navy? Yeah, they left the ladies in port. <laughs> and you preferred that, did you? Sometimes. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Should I say the women? Please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slash you up. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. <coughs> Get out there, run with the man. So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. 
Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then, yeah? I guess. Now, I ain't no scullion, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are oh, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same aliens. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. He tells them to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that bag. We got work to do. We got some provisions to go get. Shoot the shopkeeper while you. No! Are you insane? Yeah, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Let's go see the mail. like to post a letter all right that's just the way of things I guess okay no trouble thank you bye now hello hey fellas how do you do well, hello there. excuse you Bastard, hope he chokes on one. That's what I heard. 
I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, <laughs> I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You see. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! Can I run this son of a bitch down? Can I select my gun? Jesus Christ. Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your wish. You okay there, Sadie? Go down, folks. God damn, Sadie. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful! You showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. Are you fucking kidding? Ah, oh, I knew it. Fuck. God damn thing, eh? We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But, maybe not. So 
So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of bottles. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. Ah. Uh... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> <sighs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. And for some good I stew. Good old soup. Didn't the fucking didn't we get like six hundred dollars worth?
Hunter, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank you, Arthur. Evening. You think you can make this place work? Of course. Don't I always? No. Sure. Good evening, Mr. Morgan. What are the women like in Mexico? Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Some good. Think are good. Turn out to be. You miss Mexico? Of course. Think you'll ever go back? I killed a man. I'll keep my eye out for some good material. Oh, I haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Woman. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Guy good job, Lori. Arthur. Till he lost his position. I can't go back. Well, Maybe you will. Like the waves of the bay of the bay. I'd love to travel. I've come up with some ideas for ways we can improve things around here if you want to take a look. Olivia. Where's this red? I'm far once. I, I didn't understand a word he said. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Evening, Arthur. All right, what else on the map can we do here? Still can't go to Blackwater. Oh, what the fuck 
is it doing that for? That was weird. I guess we can go see what Dutch has to say. There's a, a, about a couple hours left before the... Morning. Before the... The, uh... Fallout 76 beta starting, so... So, yeah! The new south. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Are we going to go this slow all the time? Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over, Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble burst. Come on, Jose. Let's go fix it. Come on, then. Yeah. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Easy. Ugh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Well, 
Look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi guys. Hi guys. Oh, hello, guys, they're back. We're back. Attends, on va pas Charlie. Hello. There's the little one again. Hello. Hello. And the big girl. And the big girl, hello. guys. Hello. <laughs> All right. Go back. No, okay, Papa. No, I'll put some more time on that more, okay? Papa, no. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We could be. We could be. All right. Just like that every year. Just one time. Let's go. One time with it. No, no, foot small time, je manger. That's like that for You want to try, but you have to get off. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Must be better to be Mm -hmm. mm. Mais papa va manger un petit peu. All right? Mm. Un petit montant, mon amour, OK? Mm. Merci. All right, I'm still here, prepping my coffee here. I just put a bit of this in my coffee since I am doing a diet with no sugar. This doesn't have uh, any real sugar inside of it. And some good little uh, bacon and uh, bacon and steak san uh, salad. Mm-mm. Got the straw for my coffee though. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, 
What did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys. Oh, shit. Life. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? <laughs> Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make them. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Come on. Go on, deputy. Come on, come on, Betty. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Now he's throwing bottles. The low bastard. I didn't do nothing. Ah. Bastard. Let go. the train oh one of them popped down Come on, come on. Yeah, don't worry. Hello? Is everything all right in there? Everything's fanned and dandy. I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. <laughs> All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. 
Anders back there is the brain to the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Hmm. Awful people, truly <laughs> awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Bye! I got it. No making trouble in fucking town. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. <laughs> Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Mm -hmm. We also have a general store, gunsmith, yeah, post office, it. train yeah. station, yeah. of course. How more do you need? There it is. Oh, good. They're back. <laughs> Thank you. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Going well. Okay. Yeah, We're you. Stop just ahead on Giddy the up, cowboy. Oh, boy. Office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Carry him over then. Hey, fellas. I saw some reprobate shambling around my backyard. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well... We're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How <laughs> terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting. A caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. <laughs> His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold. Marrying cousins or not marrying and Arthur, that's what Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Okay, so these two plantation families... Arthur, 
You start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. One hell of a fishing right. trip. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Let's go fishing. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? Kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Are we going to walk all the way there? Or? All right, let's go. All right, gentlemen, follow me. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Huh? Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. Ooh, baby. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Oh? <sighs> so. You're going back to see that Sheriff Greg? Ah. Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't sing the sharpest attacks. <laughs> Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. <laughs> but sometimes more smartly than others. Spot Jose, Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> what the fuck was that laughed? <laughs> funny. Very funny. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Okay. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. We we're just gonna borrow our boat to somebody here. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on.
Let's go fishing. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Keep going. That's some fine boating you're doing there, man. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big, like... Oh. Sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Nice and slowly. Calmly fishing, just taking it easy. It's a huge boat, though. You got a bite. You hooked him! That feels like a bite. Ha! Got ya! Damn it, I lost him. Come on, bring it in, baby. Bring it in. The fighter. It's a big one. That's going to be a nice hey. fish. There you go. Beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. Ooh. <laughs> I would like to see that. You're getting the hang of this. Let's go for another one. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, Rob someone and buy some fish. <laughs> nice, you hooked him. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But Come on. one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up. Takes off you guys going to catch any fish? Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore.
Come on, Big Betty. We got this. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still Ooh, open doggy. and wild, the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Nice, relaxing fishing. Arthur's got a bite. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. That's not Sully. We got this. A very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, hopefully this is a big one. Her in my own way, and she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Woo! This fishing's hard on the neck. Get away, bird. This is mine. Oh, you, can, you guys can't see the bird. Well, this is going to be a big one, I think. Holy shit. Nice one. Mm -mm. I got a bite. There we go. Bring him in. You got a small little dinkerino. Nice and slowly. Looks like you got a bite, Arthur. Fish on the line, Arthur. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that in the Nicely water? Nicely done, Arthur. That'll grill up nice. What in the name of Christ is this? Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fella. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. <laughs> I asked that gal to give me 
some. She says, wait until the taters is done. <laughs> Hilarious. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. God damn. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. But you know... What song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners newly come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Maybe it is a bully boy come pledge me on this round and round and round, round. We care not for the martial men that do our state's disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our state's maintain. To them we dance this round and round and round. To them we dance this round and round and round. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round of round of round of round of round of round of round. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know, we should not let the folks back in camp think we had too much fun. <laughs> Are we doing this drift style? Uh I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Fantastic. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a God damn it. <laughs> bucks and I'm short. Get lost. Well, oh, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Stated on this pocket watch, touch hat. Big fancy thing it was. It was a greedy bugger. I'm hungry too. I hadn't eaten in three days. So I thought Sorry there, Jose. I'll rob this pair of bastards. So I followed him out of the bar. It was a dark night. I've had quite a time down gentlemen. this alleyway. Mr. Pearson! Mr. Pearson, look what I've got. Fish! Mr. Matthews! Mr. Matthews. You should have been a sailor. No, thank you. I like to eat fish, not swim with them. You know, one time, just off the horn, a giant whale stalked us for months. The same thing happened to me just south of Milwaukee, only I don't like to talk about it. I have nasty memories, though. You're not a kind man. <laughs> I'm not fooled. Hi there, Arthur. I had fish too. Those hosers didn't even catch anything. God damn them. The fuck is JR? Oh, 
what's the them people Let's go see what Leopold wants. Mr. Strauss. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. Ooh, more of these. Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? I, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> All right. Let's go collect some debts. Have to collect debt and not cause any trouble. Well, sir, young man. When use? Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Okay, you weird fella. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. 
And like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. Oh, not an awful dead body. Okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my own. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! I'm sorry that I just cockwalked you. Pretty much. Would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. Thank you. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Get out of here, ma'am. Sorry, Hello there, sir. Church grounds are closed. Okay. It's uh good of you to be doing it out of hours, I guess. I'll come back in the morning. Good idea. God damn it. Things was done on merit. You and me would be running things. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you back uh. up. You're gonna get a whooping. Uh. 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 Let's go, uh. mister. Uh. Come on. See? Uh. That's what happens. Ah, uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. God damn it, I got dirty. Alright, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Alright. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here.
All right, our next debtor, I think it's all the way in Strawberry, so we might, uh... Ride near Yon. I think we're gonna take a wagon for this, because, uh, yeah. Can I get a ride, please, partner? So where you need to be? Strawberry. Can you take me to Strawberry, please? Well, now, that's gonna take a while, so make yourself comfortable. I will. I will. My wheels don't work right. Come on! 